Number one, Kamala did not grow up like me. She grew up in upper middle class. Really, that don't matter. I'm voting on policies, and her policy sucks. So, Obama, keep your mouth shut, okay? You're the gatekeeper. You kept, you kept the gate on a lot of black people being ignorant. Uh, quite a few of them have awakened to the lies of the Democrat Party. So, Barack Hussein Obama, kiss our We voting for Trump. <laughs> well, there you go. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Man, I am convinced that nobody likes Kamala. I think that everybody's trying to tank her campaign. We see what happened with Biden. And recently, Obama comes out and tried to lecture black men, and that backfired epically. Obama? Obama, who the hell are you, man? Who the hell are you talking to brothers like you somebody's daddy? Like we can't think for ourselves. And I, I need to put the word out about you, you brothers who were standing there with him as he, you know, talks down on men. Black men in particular, y'all should have left. I don't even know why y'all stood there and listened to that foolishness. No, no. And then, let me say this too, Mr. Obama. I bet you, you wouldn't go and talk to black men in mega spaces like that. I tell you that you know where to go. You sitting over there, uh, uh, addressing black men in a safe space. You wouldn't dare come over to black men in mega spaces talking that crap. I guarantee you that. You ain't nobody's daddy, man. Acting like black men can't think for themselves. And when we do, we somehow don't like women. Man, if you don't get your sissy ass up out of here, yo, light the White House in gay color ass. And so now they bring out Bill Clinton. <laughs> oh my God. So Kamala taps Bill Clinton to go in. And Bill Clinton, his first stop was at McDonald's and nobody recognized him. Are you Joe? Oh, oh, you're Bill Clinton. <laughs> oh my God. So cringe. <laughs> man, oh man. So the worst part is Bill Clinton is on the campaign trail for Kamala. And he says the quiet part out loud. You had a case in Georgia not very long ago, didn't you? They made an ad about it, about a young woman who'd been killed by an immigrant. Yeah, well, if they'd all been properly vetted, that probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> but if they all properly vetted, and that doesn't happen. Wow. Wow, Clinton. You're probably right. If America had vetted that dude, Lincoln Riley would probably still be alive. Yes, you're right. Not only that, Mr. Bill Clinton goes in about the birth rate. I don't think Americans are anti-immigration. They're anti-chaos, right? They, they don't want us to do more than we can, but they recognize, at least most people do, we got the lowest birth rate we've had in well over 100 years. We're not at replacement level, which means we got to have somebody come here if we want to keep growing the economy. Unless one of you is one of these artificial intelligence geniuses and figured out how we can all grow with no work. Yeah, you heard them, guys. We have a problem with reproduction in this country. 
to keep the economy going. So they got to go out and get immigrants to come in here. Now more than ever, we're short of workers. Uh, we have a population that is not reproducing it on its own with the same level that it used to. The only way we're going to have a great future in America is if we welcome and embrace immigrants, the dreamers and all of them, because our ultimate goal is to help the dreamers but get a path to citizenship for all 11 million or however many undocumented there are here. Because women keep deleting the children. Yeah, this is Harris' whole campaign, the right to delete children. But we have a reproduction problem here, so we got to farm immigrants in here to keep the economy going. What the hell? You ain't thinking about that, huh? So Miss Harris wants women to delete children, and Bill Clinton says we got to import fresh people in here to keep the economy going because y'all not reproducing like we used to. Yeah. Unforeseen consequences. Yeah. Funny, funny, funny. We all see she's desperate. Now she goes on to Roland Martin. Finally, Roland Martin, you on the big stage now. Come on in. Come give her an interview and let's see how it goes. So what do you say to African-Americans specifically who say, shut it all down. Folks can't come in, close the border, who sound in many ways like mm -hmm. MAGA folks. So first of all, I have prosecuted transnational criminal organizations for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. I have had a career, including now, of prioritizing that we must have a secure border. And in fact, on the issue of immigration, let's be clear, some of the most conservative members of the United States Congress, together with others, had a bill to secure the border even more, and Donald Trump got wind of it, and because he thought it would hurt his political chances in this election, told him not to put it up for a vote. He killed the bill that would have put 1,500 more border agents at the border, which is why the border agent uh, union supported it. That bill would have stemmed the flow of fentanyl, which is affecting people of every race and background and geographic location in our country. That bill would have given more resources to prosecute transnational criminal organizations. Donald Trump told him, cancel that bill because he wants to run on a problem instead of fix a problem. I'm about fixing problems. And that includes when I am elected president, bringing back up that border security bill, and I will sign it into law. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The same talking point. She's reading from a script. I know the shit by line for nine now. Every interview, she goes and say the same that damn thing. Wow. And Roland Martin don't say nothing. Roland Martin's not correcting her. Roland Martin's not pushing like Mr. Bill Whitaker was doing. Nothing. Just let her tell the lies. It's a lie. And here's a fact check. Check this new border ad. The ad does imply that Harris was on the front lines of the border crisis when in reality, as a California attorney general from 2011 to 2017, she mainly de dealt with state level criminal justice. For example, her back on track program aimed at reducing repeat offenses through education, not tackling border cartels. So this claim is stretching the truth a bit. News Nation is fact checking this claim as misleading. That also implies that Harris went after gang members for cross border smuggling. While she did prosecute gang members in the state of California, these cases were mostly local, not involving international smuggling. For example, back in 2015, her office took on the Nuestra family gang for drug trafficking within California, not across the border. News Nation is fact-checking this claim as false, given she didn't prosecute criminals across the border. It is funny to me that just a few years ago, when we were trying to confirm Justice Kataji Jackson, they asked Kataji, what is a woman? Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. And she could not answer the question, a simple question. But funny, they know what is a man. And now they want the man vote. This whole four or five years, shit, the last 20 years, how y'all keep dogging black men. Men in general, but especially black men, how you keep dogging us. And now you're begging for our votes. No, I hope you men don't fall for this. I hope you black men don't fall for this.
I hope y'all don't fall for this. Well, there are certain black men that's going to fall for it. And I'm motherfucking sick of it today. Kamala, give me the motherfucking men. Give me all love. I motherfucking talk to them. Not just the motherfucking black men, but the motherfucking white men too. So there you go, guys. There you go. Please don't come for us. Please don't come for the real men. Okay? Her whole campaign is about abortions, trans right, and alternative lifestyle. That's her campaign. Those males can vote for her. But the real men, the testosterone-driven men, the men that like UFC, boxing, uh, challenges, stuff like that, we're going to vote with Trump. All you limp rich guys, you soft guys, you are uh, crossing your legs when you pee, men, go vote for Kamala. Nobody's stopping you. Nobody's stopping y'all. Nobody's going to even question it. We see, we see you coming. All right. But all you strong men, strong black men, men that want to get our country back, men who cares about finances, the economy, things that make sense, things that's logical. You vote for Trump. That's my thoughts for the day, guys. Hit that like button. I'll see you next time.